this is Tim with DanielFast.org, and we're here with a powerful testimony tonight from Mary, our friend, who's done the Daniel Fast a couple of times. And since you have uh, gone along with our 21 days that we've sent out the 21 day uh, emails, we thought that we would give you some testimonials. And here's a nice, a powerful testimonial from Mary. Uh, so, so tonight I'm here with you to share my experience with the Daniel Fast and how God has worked in my life through it. This was the third time that I've done the Daniel Fast. I'd like to backtrack to the first time when I was about 79 years old. At that time, I was burdened with problems of family health. I had a grandson who was 17 at the time who was going to have to have his total large intestines removed. And it was, to me, something I just could not accept. And I had to pray through it for the Lord to uh, have his way and help me to accept it and to mediate and help with everything that was going to happen with this grandson. And I have to testify, yes, he did have to have the large intestines removed. He did successfully. His health seems to be doing well. You would never know if he wasn't a normal child. And I think that it's only through our faith and prayers in God that he is doing as well as he's doing. Now he's in his third year of college and he's doing well and he's feeling as though he can lean on the Lord when things are bad for him. He's a born again Christian believer in a Christian home and we're thankful for that, that my daughter and son-in-law did bring him up that way. And we also were praying for my son. My son at that time had Parkinson's that was becoming degrading more and more. And somehow he got into a program where he was placed into an MRI unit and they did this procedure, which I feel had stopped the progression of the Parkinson's and he has improved quite a bit. He also was a believer. I'm not sure of his standards. I'm trusting in the Lord that he still is. We talk of God and we talk about God's healing and his faith that he should have in him and to trust him each day and to pray that God sees him along the way through his recovery in this. I'm trusting that he will have a complete recovery and that somehow a miracle will happen. That was my first year. Without praying for myself, the Lord blessed me that year. I have a cancer of the blood and I have to take such strong medications. Every day I take an oral chemotherapy to prevent me from blood clotting and to prevent this the buildup of the myeloproliferic neoplasm which I have. And this has become very stabilized and I do not have as much reaction as I did to those medications in the past. The second year when I was doing this, I was praying for strength and a closer walk in my own life and for spiritual growth and for a boldness that I could witness to those I came in contact with. That year I was able to see that I was able to bring a few of my Jewish neighbors to the Lord testifying with home Bible studies and groups and the Lord really blessed me the second year and I began to grow spiritually. Even though I was born in the faith, you always have a renewal and a growth. If you trust the Lord and pray for it, he'll give it to you. And I was able to search his word and find things which I needed for my life to help me day by day. And on the third time, which was the 21-day Daniel fast, which I just finished, I became more independent. I wasn't so dependent on the group, Maria and Tim and the others that were doing it. And I found that I could do it without dependency. And it was amazing. I never had a craving for the sugars, for the flowers, for the meats, for the things that I had given over to the Lord. And praying and, and, and keeping in the program, I was blessed in knowing that my life was in God's hands. And that I was praying at this time for my granddaughter who was now involved with uh, sexual female relationship, which was very upsetting to us. Someone that had known the Lord and was supposedly saved and born again, be off to college and somehow the devil got into her mind. And we're praying for complete comeback to, of her life. We're praying for the Lord to 
and I see the breakthrough. I continually keep in touch. I continually count her, hound her with my presence and my love, and I tell her how much I love her and how much God loves her, and the things he doesn't love is the things that are not, not of his will, the things that are out of the will of God. And I pray that God will bring her back completely to the way of belief and according to biblical terms as to where she should be in her life. And I also was praying for my husband who was in the first stages of Alzheimer's. It seems as though that has been put at bay and he seems to join me in my morning devotions because I, I'm doing it and he's there and he's present and so I verbalize aloud and read scripture aloud and ask him to read with me. And God has blessed him. I can see that it's given him a calmer personality and I don't see the frustration he was dealing with in the past. That was one of the things, but the third thing I was praying about is as I get older, I just turn, I'm going to turn 82 tomorrow. As I get older, I see that my body shows signs of aging and I know that a lot of what's going on is the telltale effect of the chemo drug that I'm on. It's a very hard drug on your body. So I'm praying that God, during this 21 days, that God will guide me, protect me, and be over me. And just in the past couple of weeks, I went to get out of the recliner, and I went to pull the lever on the side of the recliner, and I pulled out two of my tendons in my shoulder, and I also had a separ separation of the chromium clavicular joint and a tear of my rotator cuff. I really was in pain and I didn't know the arm turned black and blue. At this point, it's just about gone. But I praise God because even though the MRI was done, ultrasounds were done for blood clot and things of that nature, it showed that with everything I have there, as you can see, I have mobility. Even the doctor said to me, I don't understand how you can move your arm and how you don't have restrictions. It is somewhat just uncomfortable. The blood from the pull went all the way down my arm and it down now it's down towards my forearm. But I know that's a miracle in itself and I know it's because God's hand is on my life and it, it's, he's just showing me that he can do stuff for me that I didn't ever believe he would. And the doctor says, I don't understand. It's not a surgical shoulder. I don't even have to give you an injection. I am not in a lot of pain, and I thank God for that. This year, it was a growth spiritually for me as well. I really enjoyed it. I know I've not gone back completely to the way I was in eating, and I don't think I ever will, because I think that the Lord showed me that my body functions better. No sugar, no flour, and to probably be less with the meats and more with a little fish and other things that I was eating before, and I actually enjoy them. So I'm thankful for the opportunity I had to be part of this 21-day Daniel Fast, and I encourage anyone who's thinking of doing it that they should do it and repeat it. I plan to repeat it on my own. Maybe it will be for seven days, and maybe it'll be for 14 days, but I do know that I will do it because as I'm doing it, I can see that I've become closer to God and God answers prayers. And I thank you for listening to my experience. God bless you. Please try it. I know that he'll bless you too. Amazing story, Mary. We thank thank you. you so much for watching. Just remember 21 Day Daniel Fast and Prayer, right? You oh, and definitely, both. definitely. I thought the Lord was playing tricks with me. He woke me up 3.30 every morning. Everything's quiet. Nobody's around and I can't fall back to sleep after giving, getting up to use the ladies room. So I'm lying there and I start in prayer and I just pray myself back to sleep. And then I have people tell me, I had one girl tell me, were you praying for me last night around 3.30 in the morning? I was suicidal and I could hear a voice saying, you'll be okay. The Lord is with you. He'll watch over you. She called me the next morning to tell me she called the ambulance and went to the hospital. She didn't take those pills that she was about to take. I know that's why God had me praying. And she was predominantly the person I was praying for at that time. 
And I know she's been through so much in her life, but I give God the glory that he does give me the need to pray for people. And he will wake me up at 3.30 in the morning. And so I have no choice. If I'm going to go back to sleep, I pray and I trust in him. And I don't get up and take drugs or medication. I just pray and dwell on his word and meditate in things. And I know he'll give me the, the calm and the comfort that I need. He's my melatonin at night. He's my, my calmness. And he's the, the person I need there with me at that time. And spiritually, it, it did help me. Thank you so much, Mary, for sharing your testimony. I'm sure that it will be powerful to the people watching and to the glory to God, which is the whole thing. We give God glory. He blesses us. It's a circle. So thanks so much for watching DanielFast.org, and we'll see you again next time with some more powerful testimonies.